The staff here at the Niles Main District Library really go above and beyond the call of duty. We come across people of all walks of life who rely on us to be their guide, their teacher, and their friend. We may or may not fully understand what they're going through, but we can always find a way to help. So one day a few years ago, I was at the CERC desk and I was sitting there and a couple came up to me and it was husband and wife and I noticed that they couldn't really communicate well and they were trying to communicate something and I couldn't really figure it out until I noticed she kind of made this sign, which means they're deaf. So I do know how to say hi, my name is Tiffany, so I kind of went, hi, my name is T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. I could just see the smile on their face, just the fact that I had gone out of my way just to kind of sign and try to communicate at least something to them to know, you know, I, I'm trying. She, we got them a library card. I was able to kind of communicate by writing. They came back to the CERC desk to check out their items that they had found with their new library card. And she had written down just how thankful she was that I went ahead and just tried to sign to them because she said a lot of people are scared to even try, especially if they know it. We have another patron who uh, she had a child and the child was one and a half, although she had disabilities and she herself could not get to us because she was on the very far end of the district. We have been bringing books to this little boy since he was one and a half and she taught him to read. We would bring sometimes 50 books every two weeks and she's very proud of him because he's always been ahead of the class. He's been succeeding in school and she's just extremely proud of him and she has no intentions of letting us you know, discontinue service until he can get to a library himself. I had one man who came and said to me, I want you to know that I lost my job and I came to all your classes on the Microsoft Office and I had to get at work so I just took a dot job at a big box store and I was stocking shelves. And somebody I work with said, hey, don't you know how to use a computer? He said, yeah, because I'd taken all your classes. I knew how to do all those things. And he said, well, they need somebody over in that other department that can do that. So I talked to him. I want you to know that I have a job as a manager now because of the classes I took at the Niles Public Library. There was a pale, frail, fragile, extremely thin woman standing there. She told me that she was looking for a nonfiction film, if we had any, on Irish missionaries in Africa. And I asked her why, and she said it was because when she was young, she was a nurse in this missionary with this priest and those nuns, and that she was dying. And she wanted to have material to, I, I guess you could call it dream by, to remember when she was a young woman and vital and purposeful in her step and energy but because she gave me a name and an order of nuns and priests, I was able to find uh, still shots, one that included her in this missionary in Africa, a book on this priest, and a couple of other articles with pictures in them. She came back the next week. I had the materials for her and it became very, very emotional. One summer, um, there was one young man who decided to come out to the group, and um, he came to me first, partially as a test, and also to, I guess, just like feel more comfortable. He'd come out previously to his family, and I guess it didn't go well. So he pulled me aside, and he couldn't even like say it out loud at first. Um, he wrote it on a piece of paper, and like the way he introduced what was happening is he said, like, Ms. Donna, like, I have to tell you something and I hope you won't think less of me. And then, like, this really made me sad, just like the, the thought that he thought that I would think less of him. Everybody was okay with it, you know, like, embraced him. It really had a positive effect on the group going forward. And, like, even in the years since then, we know teens are, are feeling welcome when they come in here. We put up signs, we put up displays, um, just so we know that teens can feel welcome being themselves and, like, telling us their stories without 
worrying that we're gonna think less of them. And so we really get a chance to help people a lot and we do make a difference in their lives. It could be for entertainment, it could be for maintaining their status in the society by just getting a job, which is a big deal, as we all know, getting and maintaining a job. And um, it's really good to work with the people all the time.